This is such a beautiful series for you. I think Brilliant Minds just really shows off your acting skills. Was there something about Dr. Pierce or the premise that drew you to be a part of the series? Yes. Um, listen, Jamie, Dr. Pierce, I, I gotta say this is what this this role is so near and dear to my heart. And I I, I say it all the time. As soon as I read the script, I knew immediately. I don't. I don't get in the habit of covet, coveting roles because as actors, we audition so much, and if you do that, you'll just experience heartbreak over and over again. So I don't get in the habit of doing that. But I'm gonna tell you, when I read this one, I said, "Oh, this is mine. I have to have it. I might kill somebody to get this role, but I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to kill anybody. Okay." <laughs> Um, no, I loved it from the moment I read it. The show was different. She was a boss. She was fierce. Um, she was everything that I like to think about myself. And even if I can't be all those things every day, I would get to be all those things every day through her. So it was just exciting to know that this role, when they, when they called me and booked me on it after four auditions, this role was on the horizon. And I was like, I get to pretend boss every day for the next 13 episodes. I cannot wait. Um, and then the show in general, um, you asked about, was there something about the show? The show is unlike anything I've seen on television right now. Uh, it's a show about mental health. We're dealing with, we're exploring the last great frontier, the human mind, um, which you don't see. You don't see a lot on TV. Our show is not one where you're gonna see patients come in and get fixed and leave and then go run a marathon. You know. Sure. <laughs> You know, our people are going to leave with the same problems they came in with. We're just going to give you some tools to better adapt to those problems and function in your life. So it was it was just different. It's different. And I'm, I think audiences are hungry for, uh, for different, but also relatable. Absolutely. How was Dr. Pearson originally described to you? And maybe is there anything you added to her that wasn't there on that page? So Dr. Pierce is based off of real life uh, doctor uh, and friend, longtime friend and colleague of, of Dr. Oliver Sacks. Her name was Carol E. Burnett. So the character is inspired by her, I should say. Um, Carol E. Burnett was the first black graduate of the Albert Einstein Medical School uh, in 1960. Yes, um, she was a longtime friend of, of Dr. Oliver Sacks. She was she saw him. She saw him for who he was back in the day. She was a pioneer uh, and trailblazer in, in diversity and medical education. Um, she is she is noteworthy, and there's not a lot of information about her. You know, I had to dig, dig, dig. I actually created an ancestry.com account to find out if I could find relatives of her. She didn't and she didn't have children but I found out her exact address where she was born, where she lived in the 1930s. Um, and, and, and the little bit that we we know about her, it's from Oliver Sacks and in his books and with the, the couple of articles that have been written about her. Um, but once I read more about her, I said, it is an honor to build upon the legacy of someone who many people don't, most people don't know about, but was so important in the world of medicine. Zachary Quinto just brings an exceptional performance to life with this series. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask what it was like working with him. It, it, you're not remiss. Every, everybody asks. Everybody wants to know what it's like working with uh, Spock. Everybody wants to know. <laughs> and it's been one of the joys of my career. It really has. I'm not, I, 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 I can't speak. I can't say more great things about him. It's it's he's so generous. He's been a fearless leader um, uh, throughout this entire process. Our first time meeting was my last audition for this. It was the chemistry read, and you know you got I got five minutes to create chemistry with somebody. Really three because in the first two minutes they know they know whether you got it or not. So I had a very short time to create this chemistry with this man, and um, that chemistry uh, has been able to transcend the Zoom that we met into our personal lives and then back onto screen. So I hope that it's coming across very clear that we dearly love each other in our personal lives. Um, and I hope it's coming across in our professional lives. The series premise is just exceptional. And I think people are gonna fall in love with it because as you touched on, it's a unique premise and it's just beautifully acted as a medical drama 
from a different perspective. Is that what you think is going to open people's eyes and certainly make it a fast fan favorite series? Ooh, Jamie, yes. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna say I hope so, but yes, I think it is. I think that our show, our hope is that audiences will come week to week, uh, cry, laugh, feel comfort, um, but most importantly, see themselves in these characters, in the doctors, as well as the patients. And if if you were ever wondering, um, like people who have been discarded, people who have been called crazy. Um, there are people out there who who want to get to the bottom of you with you. And I think that that's what our show is one of the show's deliverables. I really do. I think audiences are going to come and see themselves. And if you can see yourself in any of these characters, then we've done our job. <laughs>